The Communist Party of India Marxist abbreviated CPI -M is a communist party in India. The party emerged from a split from the Communist Party of India in 1964. The CPI -M was formed at the 7th Congress of the Communist Party of India held in Calcutta from 31 October to 7 November 1964. As of 2018, CPI -M is leading the state government in Kerala. It also leads the West Bengal Left Front. As of 2016, CPI -M claimed to have 1,048,678 members. The highest body of the party is the Politburo. History Formation of CPI -M CPI -M emerged from a division within the Communist Party of India The undivided CPI had experienced a period of upsurge during the years following the Second World War. The CPI led armed rebellions in Telangana, Tripura, and Kerala. However, it soon abandoned the strategy of armed revolution in favour of working within the parliamentary framework. In 1950 B. T. Ranadive, the CPI General Secretary and a prominent representative of the radical sector inside the party, was demoted on grounds of left adventurism. Under the government of the Indian National Congress Party of Jawaharlal Nehru, independent India developed close relations and a strategic partnership with the Soviet Union. The Soviet government consequently wished that the Indian communists moderate their criticism towards the Indian state and assume a supportive role towards the Congress governments. However, large sections of the CPI claimed that India remained a semi-feudal country, and that class struggle could not be put on the back burner for the sake of guarding the interests of Soviet trade and foreign policy. Moreover, the Indian National Congress appeared to be generally hostile towards political competition. In 1959 the central government intervened to impose President's rule in Kerala, toppling the EMS Nambudaripad cabinet the sole non-Congress state government in the country. Simultaneously, the relations between the Communist Party of the Soviet Union and the Communist Party of China soured. In the early 1960s the Communist Party of China began criticizing the CPSU of turning revisionist and of deviating from the path of Marxism-Leninism. Sino-Indian relations also deteriorated, as border disputes between the two countries erupted into the Sino-Indian War of 1962. The basis of difference in opinion between the two factions in CPI was ideological, about the assessment of Indian scenario and the development of a party program. This difference in opinion was also a reflection of a similar difference at international level on ideology between the Soviet and Chinese parties. The alleged right wing inside the party followed the Soviet path and put forward the idea of joining hands with the then ruling party, Indian National Congress. Whereas the faction of CPI which later became CPI -M referred to this as a revisionist approach of class collaboration. It was this ideological difference which later intensified, coupled with the Soviet-Chinese split at the international level and ultimately gave birth to CPI -M. Hundreds of CPI leaders, accused of being pro-Chinese, were imprisoned. Thousands of communists were detained without trial. Those targeted by the state accused the pro-Soviet leadership of the CPI of conspiring with the Congress government to ensure their own hegemony over the control of the party. In 1962 Ajoy Ghosh, the general secretary of the CPI, died. After his death, S.A. Dang was installed as the party chairman a new position and E.M.S. Nambudaripad as general secretary. This was an attempt to achieve a compromise. Dang represented the rightist faction of the party and EMS the leftist faction. At a CPI National Council meeting held on of April 1964, 32 council members walked out in protest, accusing Dang and his followers of anti-unity and anti-communist policies. The leftist section, to which the 32 National Council members belonged, organized a convention in Tenali, Andhra Pradesh 7 to of July. In this convention the issues of the internal disputes in the party were discussed. 146 delegates, claiming to represent 100,000 CPI members, took part in the proceedings. 
The convention decided to convene the Seventh Party Congress of CPI in Calcutta later the same year, marking a difference from the Dane Jate sector of CPI. The Tenali Convention was marked by the display of a large portrait of the Chinese Communist leader Mao Zedong. At the Tenali Convention, a Bengal based pro Chinese group, representing one of the most radical streams of the CPI left wing, presented a draft program proposal of their own. These radicals criticized the draft program proposal prepared by M. Basavapunya for undermining class struggle and failing to take a clear pro-Chinese position in the ideological conflict between the CPSU and CPC. After the Tenali Convention, the CPI left-wing organized party district and state conferences. In West Bengal, a few of these meetings became battlegrounds between the most radical elements and the more moderate leadership. At the Calcutta Party District Conference an alternative draft program was presented to the leadership by Paramal Das Gupta a leading figure amongst far-left intellectuals in the party. Another alternative proposal was brought forward to the Calcutta Party District Conference by Aziz ul Haq, but Haq was initially banned from presenting it by the conference organizers. At the Calcutta Party District Conference 42 delegates opposed M. Basavapunaya's official draft program proposal. At the Siliguri Party District Conference, the main draft proposal for a party program was accepted, but with some additional points suggested by the far-left North Bengal cadre Charu Majumdar. However, Harikrishna Konar representing the leadership of the CPI left wing forbade the raising of the slogan Mao Zedong Zindabad Long Live Mao Zedong at the conference. Paramal Das Gupta S document was also presented to the leadership at the West Bengal State Conference of the CPI Left Wing. Das Gupta and a few others spoke at the conference, demanding the party ought to adopt the class analysis of the Indian state of the 1951 CPI conference. His proposal was, however, voted down. The Calcutta Congress was held between the 31st of October and the 7th of November at Tyagraha Hall in southern Calcutta. Simultaneously, the Dang Group convened a party congress of CPI in Bombay. Thus, the CPI divided into two separate parties. The group which assembled in Calcutta would later adopt the name Communist Party of India Marxist, to differentiate themselves from the Dang Group. The CPI -M also adopted its own political program. P. Sundaraya was elected General Secretary of the party. In total 422 delegates took part in the Calcutta Congress. CPI -M claimed that they represented 104,421 CPI members, 60% of the total party membership. At the Calcutta Conference the party adopted a class analysis of the character of the Indian state, that claimed the Indian bourgeoisie was increasingly collaborating with imperialism. Paramal Das Gupta's alternative draft program was not circulated at the Calcutta Conference. However, Soren Basu, a delegate from the far-left stronghold Darjeeling, spoke at the conference asking why no portrait had been raised of Mao Zedong along the portraits of other communist stalwarts. His intervention met with huge applauses from the delegates of the conference. Topic. Name Topic. CPI -M is officially known as Bharata Ki Communista Party Marxavadi Bharat Ki Communist Party Marxvadi in Hindi, but it is often known as Marxavadi Communista Party Marxvadi Communist Party, abbreviated Makapa in press and media circles. During its initial years after the split, the party was often referred by different names such as Left Communist Party or Communist Party of India Left. The party has used the name Left because CPI people were dubbed as rightist in nature for their support to Congress Nehru regime. During Kerala Legislative Assembly elections of 1965 the party has adopted the name Communist Party of India Marxist to obtain its election symbol from the Election Commission of India. Topic. Early years of CPI -M. The CPI -M was born into a hostile political climate. At the time of the holding of its Calcutta Congress, large sections of its leaders and cadres were jailed without trial. Again on 29-30 December, over a thousand CPI -M cadres were arrested and detained, and held in jail without trial. 
In 1965 new waves of arrests of CPI -M cadres took place in West Bengal, as the party launched agitations against the rise in fares in the Calcutta tramways and against the then prevailing food crisis. Statewide general strikes and hartles were observed on 5 August 1965, 10–11 March 1966 and 6 April 1966. The March 1966 general strike results in several deaths in confrontations with police forces. Also in Kerala, mass arrests of CPI -M cadres were carried out during 1965. In Bihar, the party called for a banned general strike in Patna on 9 August 1965 in protest against the Congress state government. During the strike, police resorted to violent actions against the organizers of the strike. The strike was followed by agitations in other parts of the state. P. Sundaraya, after being released from jail, spent the period of September 1965 to February 1966 in Moscow for medical treatment. In Moscow he also held talks with the CPSU, the Central Committee of CPI -M held its first meeting on 12–19 June 1966. The reason for delaying the holding of a regular CC meeting was the fact that several of the persons elected as CC members at the Calcutta Congress were jailed at the time. A CC meeting had been scheduled to have been held in Trichore during the last days of 1964, but had been cancelled due to the wave of arrests against the party. The meeting discussed tactics for electoral alliances, and concluded that the party should seek to form a broad electoral alliances with all non-reactionary opposition parties in West Bengal i.e. all parties except Jan Sang and Swatantra Party. This decision was strongly criticized by the Communist Party of China, the Party of Labour of Albania, the Communist Party of New Zealand and the radicals within the party itself. The line was changed at a National Council meeting in Jalunder in October 1966, where it was decided that the party should only form alliances with selected left parties. Naxalbari uprising At this point the party stood at crossroads. There were radical sections of the party who were wary of the increasing parliamentary focus of the party leadership, especially after the electoral victories in West Bengal and Kerala. Developments in China also affected the situation inside the party. In West Bengal two separate internal dissident tendencies emerged, which both could be identified as supporting the Chinese line. In 1967 a peasant uprising broke out in Naxalbari, in northern West Bengal. The insurgency was led by hardline district-level CPI -M leaders Charu Majumdar and Kanu Sanyal. The hardliners within CPI -M saw the Naxalbari uprising as the spark that would ignite the Indian Revolution. The Communist Party of China held the Naxalbari movement, causing an abrupt break in CPI -M CPC relations. The Naxalbari movement was violently repressed by the West Bengal government, of which CPI -M was a major partner. Within the party, the hardliners rallied around an All India Coordination Committee of Communist Revolutionaries. Following the 1968 Burdwan Plenum of CPI -M held on 5–12 April 1968, the AICCCR separated themselves from CPI -M. This split divided the party throughout the country. But notably in West Bengal, which was the centre of the violent radicalist stream, no prominent leading figure left the party. The party and the Naxalites as the rebels were, called, were soon to get into a bloody feud. In Andhra Pradesh another revolt was taking place. There the pro-Naxalbari dissidents had not established any presence. But in the party organisation there were many veterans from the Telangana armed struggle, who rallied against the central party leadership. In Andhra Pradesh the radicals had a strong base even amongst the state-level leadership. The main leader of the radical tendency was T. Nagi Reddy, a member of the State Legislative Assembly. On 15 June 1968 the leaders of the radical tendency published a press statement outlining the critique of the development of CPI -M. It was signed by T. Nagi Reddy, D. V. Rao, Kala Venkaya and Chandra Pilla Reddy. In total around 50% of the party cadres in Andhra Pradesh left the party to form the Andhra Pradesh Coordination Committee of Communist Revolutionaries, under the leadership of T. Nagi Reddy. <laughs> Dismissal of United Front Governments in West Bengal and Kerala In 
In November 1967, the West Bengal United Front government was dismissed by the central government. Initially the Indian National Congress formed a minority government led by Prafula Chandra Ghosh, but that cabinet did not last long. Following the proclamation that the United Front government had been dislodged, a 48-hour hartle was effective throughout the state. After the fall of the Ghosh cabinet, the state was put under president's rule. CPI -M launched agitations against the interventions of the central government in West Bengal. The Eighth Party Congress of CPI -M was held in Cochin, Kerala, on 23–29 December 1968. On 25 December 1968, whilst the Congress was held, 42 Dalits were burned alive in the Tamil village of Kishavanmani. The massacre was a retaliation from landlords after Dalit labourers had taken part in a CPI -M led agitation for higher wages. The United Front government in Kerala was forced out of office in October 1969, as the CPI, RSP, KTP, and Muslim League ministers resigned. EMS Nambudaripad handed in his resignation on 24 October. A coalition government led by CPI leader C. Achutha Menon was formed, with the outside support of the Indian National Congress. <laughs> <laughs> Elections in West Bengal and Kerala Fresh elections were held in West Bengal in 1969. CPI -M contested 97 seats, and won 80. The party was now the largest in the West Bengal legislative. But with the active support of CPI and the Bangla Congress, Ajoy Mukherjee was returned as Chief Minister of the State. Mukherjee resigned on 16 March 1970, after a pact had been reached between CPI, Bangla Congress and the Indian National Congress against CPI -M. CPI -M strove to form a new government, instead but the central government put the state under president's rule. In Kerala, fresh elections were held in 1970. CPI -M contested 73 seats and won 29. After the election Achutha Menon formed a new ministry, including ministers from the Indian National Congress. <laughs> Formation of CITU Topic. Topic. Outbreak of war in East Pakistan Topic. In 1971 Bangladesh formerly East Pakistan declared its independence from Pakistan. The Pakistani military tried to quell the uprising. India intervened militarily and illegally gave active backing to the Bangladeshi rebels. Millions of Bangladeshi refugees sought shelter in India, especially in West Bengal. At the time the radical sections of the Bangladeshi communist movement were divided into many factions. Whilst the pro-Soviet Communist Party of Bangladesh actively participated in the rebellion, the pro-China communist tendency found itself in a peculiar situation as China had sided with Pakistan in the war. In Calcutta, where many Bangladeshi leftists had sought refuge, CPI -M worked to coordinate the efforts to create a new political organization. In the fall of 1971 three small groups, which were all hosted by the CPI -M, came together to form the Bangladesh Communist Party Leninist. The new party became the sister party of CPI -M in Bangladesh. <laughs> political ideology and stances The party constitution currently in force was adopted at the Eighth Party Congress in December 1968. Article 2 of the constitution lays out of the aim of the party. Revolutionary vanguard of the working class of India. Its aim is socialism and communism through the establishment of the state of dictatorship of the proletariat. In all its activities the party is guided by the philosophy and principles of Marxism-Leninism which shows to the toiling masses the correct way to the ending of exploitation of man by man, their complete emancipation. The party keeps high the banner of proletarian internationalism." Article XXA of the Constitution states that the Communist Party of India Marxist shall bear true faith and allegiance to the Constitution of India as by law established and to the principles of socialism, secularism and democracy and would uphold the sovereignty, unity and integrity of India." 
The party is well known for its anti-globalization and anti-capitalist stance. Topic: <laughs> Party organization. Topic: CPI -M currently has 9 MPs in Lok Sabha. CPI -M's highest tally was in 2004 when it got 5.66% of votes polled in and it had 43 MPs. It won 42.31% on an average in the 69 seats it contested. It supported the new Indian National Congress-led United Progressive Alliance government, but without becoming a part of it. On 9 July 2008 it formally withdrew support from the UPA government explaining this by differences about the Indo-US nuclear deal and the IAEA safeguards agreement in particular. In West Bengal and Tripura it participates in the left front. In Kerala the party is part of the left democratic front. In Tamil Nadu it was part of the ruling democratic progressive alliance led by the Dravida Munitra Kazagam DMK. However, it has since withdrawn support. Its members in Great Britain are in the Electoral Front Unity for Peace and Socialism with the Communist Party of Britain and the British domiciled sections of the Communist Party of Bangladesh and the Communist Party of Greece It is standing 13 candidates in the London Wide List section of the London Assembly elections in May 2008. Membership <inaudible> 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 Since the formation of the party, its membership has been increased from 118,683 in 1964 to 1,065,406 in 2013. In 2004, the party claimed a membership of 8, 67,763. Following is the list of statewise members of the party as in 2004. Topic: <laughs> Leadership. The current General Secretary of CPI -M is Sitaram Yichari. The 22nd Party Congress of CPI -M, held in Hyderabad 18 April 2018 elected a central committee with 95 members including two permanent invitees, six invitees and a five-member Central Control Commission. The Central Committee later elected a 17-member Politburo. Politburo members. Topic: Sitaram Yichari, General Secretary; Prakash Karat, former General Secretary; S. Ramachandran Pillai; Manik Sarkar, former Chief Minister of Tripura; Pinarayi Vijayan, Chief Minister of Kerala; Biman Bose; B. V. Raghavulu; Brinda Karat; Kodiyari Balakrishnan; Surja Kanta Mishra; M. A. Baby. Muhammad Salim Subhashini Ali Hanan Mala G. Ramakrishnan Tapan Kumar Sen Nilotpal Basu The 22nd Party Congress newly inducts Tapan Sen and Nilotpal Basu into the Politburo. <laughs> Central Committee elected by the 22nd Party Congress Sitaram Yichari Prakash Karat S. Ramachandran Pillai Baiman Basu Manik Sarkar Brinda Karat Pinarayi Vijayan Hanan Mala Kodiyari Balakrishnan M. A. Baby Sergia Kanta Mishra Muhammad Salim Subhashini Ali B. V. Raghavulu G. Ramakrishnan Tapan Sen Nilotpal Basu A. K. Pamanabhan Penamali Madhu V. Srinivasa Rao M. A. Gaffor Deban Bhattacharya Awadesh Kumar Arun Mehta Surrender Malik Ankar Shad Muhammad Yusuf Taragami Gopi Kant Baxi G. V. Srirama Reddy P. Karanakaran P. K. Srimathi M. C. Josephine E. P. Jayarajan Vaikom Viswan T. M. Thomas Isaac A. V. J. Aragavan K. K. Shalaja A. K. Balan 
Elamaram Karim Adam Narsaya Narayan Mahendra Singh Ali Kishore Patnaik Basu Deo Amra Ram TK Rangarajan U Vasuki Asoundara Rajan K Balakrishnan P Sampath Thamaneni Virabhadram S Viraya CH Sita Ramulu Agor Deb Barma Bijan Dar Badal Choudhury Rama Das Gautam Das Hiralal Yadav Shyamal Chakraborty Maridalda Rekha Goswami N. Ripan Chowdhury Sridip Bhattacharya Ramachandra Dome Manati Ghosh Anju Kar Hari Singh Kong Jagindra Sharma J. S. Majumdar K. Himalada Sudha Sundara Raman Rajendra Sharma Swadesh Dev Roy Ashok Diwale S. Punyavati Suprakash Talakdar Arun Kumar Mishra K. M. Tiwari K. Radhakrishnan M. V. Govindan Master Jaswinder Singh J. P. Gavit G. Nagaya Tapan Chakravarti Jaten Choudhury Muralidar and Arun Kumar Viju Krishnan Mariam Diwale Rabin Deb Abbas Roy Choudhury Sujan Chakraborty Amiyo Patra Sukhwinder Singh Shakan Topic Special invitees to Central Committee elected by the 22nd Party Congress Topic V.S. Achuthanandan Malu Swarajam Maidan Ghosh Paloli Mohamedkuti P. Ramaya K. Varadarajan Topic Permanent invitees to Central Committee elected by the 22nd Party Congress Topic Rajinda Negi Secretary Uttarakhand State Committee Sanjay Parate Secretary Chhattisgarh State Committee Topic Central Control Commission elected by the 22nd Party Congress Topic Basudev Acharya P Rajendran S Sridhar G Ramulu Banani Biswas Topic State Committee Secretary Topic Andhra Pradesh Penamali Madhu Arunachal Pradesh Na Assam Deban Bhattacharya Bihar Abdesh Kumar Chhattisgarh MK Nandi Goa, Thalman Pereira Gujarat, Pragajibai Bombay Haryana, Inderjit Singh Himachal Pradesh, Rakesh Singha Jammu and Kashmir, Muhammad Yusuf Taragami Jharkhand, G. K. Bakshi Karnataka, G. V. Sri Ram Reddy Kerala, Kodayari Balakrishnan Madhya Pradesh, Badal Saraj Maharashtra, Narsaya Adam Master, Meghalaya, Na Manipur, Sarat Salam Mizoram, Na Nagaland, Na Odisha, Alakishore Patnaik Punjab, Sharan Singh Verdi Acting, Rajasthan, Vas Sadev Sharma Sikkim, Balram Adhikari Tamil Nadu, G. Ramakrishnan Telangana, T. Virbhadram Tripura, Bijan Dar Uttarakhand, Vijay Rawat Uttar Pradesh, S.P. Kashyap West Bengal, Sergia Kanta Mishrandaman and Nicobar Islands, K.G. Das Chandigarh, Na Daman and Diu, Na Dadra and Nagar Haveli, Na Lakshadeep, Lukmanal Hakim National Capital Territory of Delhi, P.M.S. Grawal Pitacheri, R. Rajangam Topic General Secretaries of CPI M. Topic Article 15, Section 15 of the Party Constitution says, No person can hold the position of the General Secretary for more than three full terms. Full term means the period between two party congresses. In a special situation, a person who has completed three full terms as General Secretary may be re-elected for a fourth term provided it is so decided by the Central Committee with a three-fourth majority. But in no case can that person be elected again for another term in addition to the fourth term. Topic. Principal mass organizations of CPI M. Topic. Democratic Youth Federation of India Students Federation of India Center of Indian Trade Unions Class Organization All India Kizan Sabha Peasants Organization all India Agricultural Workers Union Kerala non gazetted Officers Union All India Democratic Women's Association Bank Employees Federation of India and Tripura, the Ganamukti Parishad is a major mass organisation amongst the tribal peoples of the state. In Kerala the Adivasi K. Shama Samathi, a tribal organisation, is controlled by CPI M. State governments Topic. 
As of 2018, the CPI -M heads the state government in Kerala. Pinarayi Vijayan is Chief Minister of Kerala. The left front under CPI -M ruled West Bengal for 34 years 1977 to 2011 and Tripura for 25 years 1993 to 2018. Topic. Splits and offshoots Topic. A large number of parties have been formed as a result of splits from the CPI -M, such as Communist Party of India Marxist-Leninist, Marxist Communist Party of India, Marxist Coordination Committee in Jharkhand, Janathapathya Samrakshana Samathi, Communist Marxist Party and BTRM's AKG Janakia Vedi in Kerala, Party of Democratic Socialism in West Bengal, Janganatantrik Morcha in Tripura, the Ram Pasla Group in Punjab, Odisha Communist Party in Odisha, etc. Topic. Elections Topic. Topic. 1967 general election Topic. In the 1967 Lok Sabha elections, the CPI -M nominated 59 candidates. In total 19 of them were elected. The party received 6.2 million votes 4.28% of the nationwide vote. By comparison, CPI won 23 seats and got 5.11% of the nationwide vote. In the state legislative elections held simultaneously, the CPI -M emerged as a major party in Kerala and West Bengal. In Kerala a united front government led by EMS. Nambudaripad was formed. In West Bengal, the CPI -M was the main force behind the United Front government formed. The chief ministership was given to a Joy Mukherjee of the Bangla Congress a regional splinter group of the Indian National Congress. 1971 general election with the backdrop of the Bangladesh War and the emerging role of Indira Gandhi as a populist national leader, the 1971 election to the Lok Sabha was held. The CPI -M contested 85 seats, and won in 25. In total the party mustered 7,510,089 votes 5.12% of the national vote. Twenty of the seats came from West Bengal including Somnath Chatterjee, elected from Burdwan, two from Kerala including AK. Gopalan, elected from Palakkad, two from Tripura, Biran Dutta and Dasarath Deb, and one from Andhra Pradesh. In the same year, state legislative elections were held in three states: West Bengal, Tamil Nadu, and Odisha. In West Bengal, CPI -M had 241 candidates, winning 113 seats. In total, the party mustered 4,241,557 votes, 32.86% of the statewide vote. In Tamil Nadu CPI -M contested 37 seats, but drew blank. The party got 259,298 votes 1.65% of the statewide vote. In Odisha the party contested 11 seats, and won in two. The CPI -M vote in the state was 52,785 1.2% of the statewide vote. 1977 general elections In the 1977 Lok Sabha elections, the CPM had fielded its candidates on 53 seats scattered around in 14 states and union territories of India. It won 4.29% of the average votes polled in this election. The party had won 17 seats from West Bengal, 3 from Maharashtra and 1 each from Orissa and Punjab. This election was done shortly after the emergency imposed by the Indira Gandhi and reflected a wide uproar of masses against her draconian rule. A coalition of opposition parties was formed against the Congress regime, CPI -M too supported this coalition by not fielding its candidates against the Janda Party. 1980 general elections Janta Party coalition did not last much and two years after since its formation India had faced the 1980s Lok Sabha elections. This election saw an increase in the vote percentage of CPI -M and the party secured more seats than the previous elections. 
The party had contested elections in the 15 states and union territories of India, and fielded its candidates on 64 seats. The party had won 37 seats in total. It won 28 seats in West Bengal, 7 in Kerala, and 2 seats in Tripura. The party emerged out as the whole sole representative of the people of Tripura in this election. 2002 presidential elections In the 2002 presidential elections, Left Front announced Captain Lakshmi Sagal as its presidential candidate. Against her was the ruling Bharatiya Janata Party's candidate APJ Abdul Kalam. CPIM's leadership has announced that in form of Captain Lakshmi, they are fielding an alternative candidate. They said that though it is clear that Captain Lakshmi can T be the President of India because of the opposition of BJP led NDA and Indian National Congress to her, but through this presidential election left wants to raise key national issues, and make them heard to the masses. Captain Lakshmi herself had pointed out that this presidential election reflects the opposition of the Indian left to the communal secretarian politics of BJP and solidarity with the religious minorities who have suffered a lot under the National Democratic Alliance's leadership. 2011 Assembly elections the CPIM-led coalitions lost the assembly elections in Kerala and West Bengal. In Kerala, CPIM-led Left Democratic Front coalition with 68 seats lost to Indian National Congress-led United Democratic Front's 72 seats in a neck-to-neck -neck fought assembly elections. In West Bengal, CPIM alliance with 62 seats suffered a setback after 34 years of continuous rule, losing to Trinamool Congress Alliance. S226 seats. Its chief minister candidate, who was also the incumbent chief minister, Buddhadeb Bhattacharji, also lost from his Jadaspur Assembly constituency. CPIM leader and former chief minister of Kerala, V.S. Achuthanandan has stated in a TV interview that Bengal defeat was because of the deviation from party policies and because of its anti-peasant line. Though party tried to correct the mistakes, is not effective enough prevent the downturn. Former CPI M leader and prominent economist Ashok Mitra pointed out that the reason why left front got defeated in West Bengal is, among other things, the present state leaders deviated from communist policies and principles. There is a criticism that Buddhadeb and Narupam Sen were working as corporate agents and was influenced by neo-liberal policies. CAG had earlier stated in its report that by allocating land to Tata at a subsidized rate, West Bengal GOVT incurred losses to the public exchequer. Former minister and CPI M leader Abdur Rezik Mala, blamed Politburo members Buddhadeb Bhattacharji and Narupam Sen for the left-front debacle in the Bengal Assembly elections. WikiLeaks documents published in The Hindu newspaper revealed that Buddhadeb had assured U.S. diplomats that if CPI -M refused to approve neo-liberal policies the party would perish. According to media reports Buddhadeb rarely attended Politburo meeting. 2012 vice presidential election while CPI -M supported Pranab Mukherjee as presidential candidate in 2012 presidential election, it was in favor of a non-Congress candidate for the post of the vice president. 2014 Lok Sabha election Nine CPI -M candidates were elected in the 2014 Indian general election, as well as two CPI -M supported independents. This is down from the previous number of 16. The national vote share of CPI -M has also shrunk from 5.33% in 2009 to 3.28% in 2014. This is a 38.5% reduction within a span of five years which is consistent with the overall decline of the left in India. CPI -M did not win a single seat in Tamil Nadu and its seats went down from 9 to 2 in West Bengal where it is being heavily eroded by Mamata Banerjee governed AITMC. 
Kerala is the only state where CPI -M gained one more seat but this is mainly attributed to splitting of anti-LDF votes between the UDF and emerging NDA. The NDA saw a sharp spike in vote share in decades which came coupled with a sharp decline in UDF votes. Thus, it is assumed that the NDA cut into UDF votes thereby facilitating victory for LDF. This was again mirrored during the Kerala Legislative Assembly election, 2016, which saw the NDA getting entry into the State Assembly for the first time as BJP veteran O. Rahagopal wins the Namam seat and CPI M S. Pinarayi Vijayan forming the LDF-ruled government. See also Topic Bahadur Singh Dakad Communist Party of India Communist Ghadar Party of India List of political parties in India Politics of India List of Communist Parties Election results of Communist Party of India Marxist Coordinating Committee of Communist Parties in Britain List of Communist Parties in India Topic References Topic Topic External Links Topic Official Website